Hey guys, Dan here with Battlefield Curator. And are you looking for some good deals on military surplus right now? Look no further than Royal Tiger Imports. Yes, that's right, Royal Tiger Imports. The place that a lot of people just look down upon because a lot of the stuff that they have is from Ethiopia. Well, little known fact, not everything they have is from Ethiopia and not everything they have is complete garbage, right? We saw some really good things out of them starting back in 2019. Even some good things coming out of Ethiopia, like the M1 carbines, I found to be in really good condition and really good shape. And they were shootable. The bores were excellent or good. And some of the out exterior on, on these were actually really decent. So, what are my top three picks at Royal Tiger Imports now? Let's go over them, but before we get started, I'd ask that you pulverize that like button and subscribe if you haven't. It really helps out with the channel, and I appreciate it. The more you guys like this video, the more people it gets reached out to, so hopefully it helps them out too. All right, number one on my list of top three great deals at Royal Tiger Imports is we got the Carcano Cavalry Carbine. That's right, the Cavalry Carbines at Royal Tiger Imports. They are going for a $189.99. These are from Italy. They're not from Ethiopia. That's right. You're getting, for $190, bucks, you are getting a, a good to very good condition cavalry carbine. And it comes with a free reproduction sling and a free clip. The last one I got was actually a project carbine. They had a, a special on some of their project carbines at Royal Tiger. And I'd like to shout out at Rusty Surplus on YouTube, aka the Military Surplus Carbine Collector because he hooked me up with a stock that he had laying around. So definitely go check out his channel, give his channel a like and subscribe as well. Check out some of the videos he's got, he got some information. He's been collecting for years, guys. Um, and there's tons of people out there that have been collecting for years. And, and good collectors know that when you see a good deal, you jump on it. So I did not hesitate to jump on some of these deals at Royal Tiger Imports, especially this Carcano Cavalry carving. You know, I like Carcanos, but I also like having some really cool shirts, too. So, if you like really cool shirts and maybe getting a really cool hoodie with some uh, military stuff on there, go check out my merch site. Go help the channel out. Help Battlefield Curator out. Uh, help me help others learn history as well, because I will actually be donating some of the, some of the proceeds to historical sites, museums, and uh, battlefields and stuff like that. So yeah, definitely go check out the merch site or you could just click on the link right here. All right, number two on the list here is the Swiss K31. That's right. These Swiss rifles uh, dated around the World War II era. Uh, they, when they come into the country, um, they just keep going up in value. Uh, these are really accurate rifles. They shoot 7.5. And it's hard to find the ammunition yet again, but you can probably go online, maybe find some PPU as well. Uh, it's out there. You just got to go look for the ammo. But one thing that these rifles are really praised for is their accuracy. They are really, really accurate rifles. They're a very unique design. They're straight pull. They're pretty much based off a lot of the other surplus rifles, like the K11. And, you know, Royal Tiger Imports got K11s too. I mean, they got K11s around 400 bucks. But for around 500 bucks, uh, you could get one of these K31s, which is the most up-to-date of the uh, straight-pull, bolt-action rifle designs that the Swiss had. And one of the coolest things about these Swiss rifles is that you, can, you have the possibility of finding the previous soldier's tag in the butt plate. That's right. Uh, one of my buddies at his gun shop at All-American Firearms got a Swiss K31, and in the butt plate... You know, he, we found a soldier's tag, uh, probably uh, around, probably from around the 50s, probably not World War II era. Uh, when you read these tags, there's a specific way you got to read them, so just go online and check that out. But really good deals on these surplus K31s that Royal Tiger has. They're straight out of Switzerland. They're not from Ethiopia. They're not from Africa. They're straight out of Switzerland. The other great thing about them is that they're cheaply priced compared to other websites. Other websites might have them for $700 to even $900. Heck, I've seen them sell for around $1,000, guys. 
It's, uh, these are really good deals if you think about them for a K31. All right, number three on my list here is not a rifle. It's actually ammo. For all you guys that are commenting on my M1 carbine videos and that comment on other videos and just message me like, I can't find ammo for my M1 carbine. It's like, all right guys, either you can find ammo for a dollar a round or you just can't find ammo. Um, that's pretty much how things have turned out since after the pandemic. But Royal Tiger Imports has surplus 30 carbine ammo. Specifically, I'm looking at the 120 round bandolier packs here. These bandolier packs are Korean War surplus era and they're US made. So why wouldn't you want to jump on that? You're getting a pretty decent deal comparatively to other ammo out there. Yeah, you could probably find some commercial ammo for about the same price. I mean, I've been able to find some uh, Steinel ammo and some Georgia Arms ammo for, let's see, 50 round boxes going for around 30 bucks. But when you want surplus ammo just to run at the range, there you go, guys. Or if you just want to collect it, you know, maybe fire off a few of those clips. Um, they come on stripper clips. That's another really cool thing is you can easily load your magazines. Um, you can, you know, hold on to the bandolier. The bandolier, you know, you probably don't see these bandoliers around too often. So I think it's a pretty good deal for this 30 carbine ammo for your M1 carbines out there. Um, I haven't got any of these yet. Um, I kind of want to jump on this uh, because I think it's a pretty good deal. So within the coming days, I'll probably order me some as well. And honestly, guys, I don't know where this ammo is coming from. It might be from Ethiopia. It might not be. It doesn't say on their website. It just says it's been in storage for a very long time, which to me thinks that uh, it might be from Ethiopia just because they've got a whole bunch of things that have been in storage from Ethiopia. Um, so, yeah, just, you know, take caution when you get this ammo. I'm sure they go through it and make sure it's, it's good and it's not messed up in any way. Um, I've personally got a great chance to tour their warehouse and I saw them going through ammo to make sure it was in, in good condition. So yet again, I think is 30 carbine ammo is a pretty good deal and uh, something I look forward to getting pretty soon. If you like this kind of content, be sure to like the video and subscribe if you haven't. And as always, be sure to learn history and curate history. Make it a great day.